Welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at NVMath Python library from NVIDIA, which is still in beta but holds a lot of promise. The primary objective of this NVMath Python library is to bring the power of NVIDIA's math libraries to the Python ecosystem. This library is based on NVIDIA's CUDA X library, which in return is built on CUDA. CUDA stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture and we will also have a quick look at how to know which CUDA version you are running because we will be installing this NVMath library on our Google Colab. You can use the similar process to get it installed anywhere. The, this package NVMath Python aims to provide intuitive Pythonic APIs that provide user full access to all features offered by NVIDIA's libraries in variety of execution spaces. As I mentioned earlier, these libraries are a collection of libraries that deliver dramatically higher performance compared to CPU only alternatives across application domains, including AI and high performance computing. Let me show you a quick look at few of the CUDA's math libraries. So you see we have here Kublas, which is for linear algebra. We have fast Fourier transformer implementation. We will also see a couple of examples in the test when we install this NVMath and we will try, out, try it out on linear algebra and fast Fourier transformation or FFT. Then we have this random number. Then we have for tensor, sparse matrices, we have some mathematical function, which is a core math API. And then we have some for AMGX and uh, uh, space server library. And you can go into detail and learn more about them. Now, as I said, the basic purpose of this NVMath is to make using these libraries and all of these CUDA X math libraries easily for any of your use cases such as in order to use it in the frameworks or deep learning compiler and in my opinion the most exciting use case is to use it in your application development so by using this nvidia hopes to empower a wide range of python users by providing easy access to high performance core math operations such as fast fourier transformation dense and sparse linear algebra and much much more so whether you are a practitioner who just want robust high performance mathematical tool or you want to develop your own library package packages, you can use this. Or even if you are a CUDA kernel author, you can also use this. As I mentioned, CUDA stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture and it is a parallel computing platform and programming model from NVIDIA that allows developers to harness the power of NVIDIA's GPUs to perform intense calculations and processing tasks. CUDA enables developers to create applications that can solve complex problems in AI, scientific simulation, and much, much more stuff. CUDA has evolved a lot. Now, now you know what NVMath is, what CUDA X libraries are, and then what exactly CUDA is. The architecture of this is also quite interesting. And let me actually show you in another screen to just to give you an idea what it looks like. And after that, we will get in, uh, get it installed. So if you look at this architecture, the beauty is that this NVMath Python is designed to support integration at any level desired by the users. So for example, whether you are a um, Python package developer or and you want to utilize core math operation to compose into higher level algorithms, or if you want to adapt these op operations into your preferred interfaces, you can easily use that. Or maybe you're an application developer and you want to use core operations directly from NVMath Python or indirectly through other libraries that lever leverage Math Python. You can easily do that. Or maybe you are a researcher to write kernel entirely in Python that call core math operations such as FFT or linear algebra. You can also easily do that. So different tiers, different layers from top to bottom. As you go down, you become more platform agnostic. It become more complex, but you retrieve more power, of course, as you go more deep down. Okay. Now, another cool thing is that NVIDIA has also shared a GitHub repo if you want to build it from the source and if you want to take 
hold of their examples which we will also check out so make sure that you git clone it and i will show you how to do that shortly so let me now take you to my google colab which is a free one and then we will get it installed in the google colab as i mentioned earlier you can get this thing installed anywhere you like so first go to the runtime at the top menu from here select the change runtime type select t4 gpu and save it because and this is the nvidia's gpu so it will be easier to run it first thing you need to do before even installing nvmath is to make sure that you know what your CUDA version is for that simply run this command let me first run that command which is nvidia dash smi and then let's run this command first and smi is for system management interface this is um, a utility that provides monitoring and management capabilities for nvidia gpu devices including various nvidia cards tesla quadro grid and so on and so forth so you see there are a lot of information here we are interested in this cuda version so we are running cuda version 12 so we will be installing our nvmath accordingly okay so for that let's scroll down and then just let's open a desert cell and this is how we install it if you are using cuda 11 just replace this with 11 but i want to install it with my cuda's version so let's get it installed it is going to download it and then it is going to install it it's not that heavy so let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long and that is done and you can ignore these warnings for now next up let's git clone the repo of nvmath and i will drop the link in video's description let's click on it and then it is going to clone it locally let's wait for it that is done and now we need to cd into this directory let me go there plus code and then cd into it make sure that you are in this directory by running present working directory here and yes we are in the nvmath now let me show you first of the examples as how can you run this so this is the example from their repo where we are using this fast Fourier transformation example with numpy and then let me quickly show you how that looks like so this is the example which we are running and this example is simply showing us the input and how this library transforms the output so it's a simple example the, the purpose of this example is just to show you a boilerplate thing a template which you can easily embed in your own applications so once you run it it is going to show you input and output let's wait for it to finish and you see that they are showing you that this input is this type and then we have this output similarly you can run it with maybe matmol which is matrix multiplication there is another example from linear algebra where this matrix multiplication is also supported so let me run this one and while it is running let me show you that example so i believe this is the example matmol and again very simple boilerplate example with some of the random numbers where it is showing you what the results are and how it performs in the tensors so let's go there there you go so inputs were these and these were the outputs so this gives you a very good starting point to get it embedded whether you are building a kernel whether you are building a python application or any application for ai machine learning or your um, simulations so all in all amazing stuff and if you go to the repo for example i'll show you so this is the example folder here sorry this is the example folder if you go into that you will see heaps of example for fft for linear algebra and matrix multiplication and you can go with torch you can go with stateful and bashed epilog lot of stuff is there just pick whatever your use case is and then follow that example and then embed it in your application so all in all really impressed by this nv math i think this is quite good that nvidia is providing this high level software interfaces into their really celebrated hardware 
let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching